That's exactly right. It's football time once again. It is time for the John's Tire Discount Preview Show this afternoon. We're going to preview the Jackets and the Green Dragons. We're also here from the head man himself, Coach Zach Massengill. All that will return in just one moment. It's the John's Tire Discount Preview Show. Can you believe it? I still got the good hands? We're back in just one moment. Why you can trust John's Tire Discount? I always stop at John's Tire Discount uh, for good prices, good, excellent service. Been coming here for 20 years. I come here to John's Discount Tires because Larry Joe Jarvis is always taking good care of me. He does front end alignments, they do tires, whatever you need. We got really good prices, always are very quick uh, to get things done. And you don't have to wait very long at all. Come see us at John's Tire Discount. Customer service is number one. There you see it. That's exactly what Harlan's got to deal with this Friday night when the Jackets take on the Green Dragons from Bradner Stadium, Lee Majors Field, downtown Middlesbrough. The Jackets working on a lot of things tonight. We're going to be very careful not to show a lot of this stuff here on the John's Tire Discount Preview Show. I still got the ball that I caught in the opening <laughs> segment. I didn't drop it. I'm still not going to drop it. I remember that from Kenny back a, a few years ago. The Jackets coming in this Friday night after a devastating loss to the Greyhounds of Paris up there in Paris, Kentucky. But hey, look, let's look at it this way. A couple of things as far as last Friday night's game went. First, you had a lot of injuries for the Yellow Jackets. A lot of the key players was not able to play on Friday night up in Paris, Kentucky. And let's be honest about it. Paris isn't your, my, my generation's Paris. This is back to dad's generation, Paris. Back when they were state champions back in 81. They were uh, in the finals in 82. I mean, these are, the, these are the Paris Greyhounds back. They are a perennial powerhouse in Class A. Don't let anything fool you. They're very tough. They're 5-0 for a reason. They are one heck of a football team, and they're going to do a lot of damage there in Class A. So you kind of take that in consideration. Now the Jackets come back home. After a three-hour trip, they're going to be back in the friendly confines of Bradner Stadium. This time, it's the Harlan Green Dragons coming to town. Harlan, Middlesbrough's had the upper hand on Harlan over the last few years, as far back as I can remember. Yeah, the Harlan Green Dragons have, have uh, given Middlesbrough a few defeats here and there, but Middlesbrough has been the ones who's normally come out on top. I think the same thing's going to happen this, this Friday. I think Middlesbrough will get their first win tonight, or this, uh, this Friday. That's going to be a good thing. That's going to give them the... Uh, confidence going into the bye week because after the bye week that's when your district starts you got LCA coming to town then you got two key road games very difficult road games once back in central Kentucky when they take on the Admirals of Danville and then the Somerset Briar Jumpers finish off the district and then of course the last game of the season uh, Williamsburg Yellow Jackets we only have four games to go after Harlan and the season's over with then you start talking about playoffs so Middlesbrough going to be all out as Coach, uh, as, uh, Coach Massengill. We're going to talk to him in just uh, uh, a little bit as, uh, as he's going to, I am sure he's going to say, these teams are going to go all out this Friday because you know you got a bye week. Some key players won't be playing this Friday. We'll let you know more on that during our telecast Friday night. But uh, I think this is, a, this is a game Middlesbrough's uh, one got to win in order to get that confidence level up before going to the bye week. And then, obviously, district play goes on. When we come back, we're going to hear from the head man himself, Coach Zach Massengill. And, of course, uh, we'll finish everything up from there. You're watching the John's Tire Discount Preview Show. Uh, we'll be back with Coach Massengill in just one second. Stay tuned. Why you can trust John's Tire Discount? I always stop at John's Tire Discount uh, for good prices, good, excellent service. Been coming here for 20 years. I come here to John's Discount Tires because Larry Joe Jarvis is always taking good care of me. He does front end alignments, they do tires, whatever you need. We got really good prices, always are very quick uh, to get things done. And you don't have to wait very long at all. Come see us at John's Tire Discount. Customer service is number one. Welcome into the John's Tire Discount Preview Show as we get you set for the Jackets and the Green Dragons. This Friday night from Bradner Stadium, Lee Majors Field, downtown Middlesbrough. Should be a good one between the Jackets and the Dragons. Do a little bit of thing different uh, tonight as uh, we're going to have, have uh, Coach Massengill join us right off the bat. As you can tell behind us, the Jackets are getting sent for the Green Dragons. We don't want to take anything away from his duties as the head coach. And uh, First of all, Zach, I appreciate you taking time. I know you're very busy out there. I've got a chance to sit back and watch a little bit. And it uh, looks like things are, are looking good, this, uh, to, at least as for today. Yeah, we're, you know, we're having a pretty good day. We're, uh, we're a little healthier this week, so that, that helps. And... Uh, and, you know, the kids are coming out and attacking practice, uh, you know, the same way. So, yeah, you know, they're, they're working hard right now. Coach, you take a look, and uh, obviously 
this far into the season, record-wise, not where you you want to be. But you take a look throughout the season, you've got a bounce here, a bounce there, and things are a lot different. Forgetting about that, how's the players doing up to now? You know, doing doing well. We just uh, we've still got a few guys that are out with injury, and uh, and depth is going to be an issue. It was a it was a major issue this past Friday. Um, you know, but uh, you know the three games in between, I felt like we were really competitive. We had a good shot to, to win at the end, and uh, you know we just got to find a way to get over the hump and, and get the W. And uh, you know this week's going to be another tough week. They've got a good football team, and uh, and you know hopefully the kids are ready. And uh, I, I know that uh, you know they're ready to try to work for the win too. This is the final game before the district starts. Obviously, you got Harlan, you got a bye week, which is important. I know we talked about that off camera, and then district starts. How are, what's your mindset going into the Harlan game? Is it just all out with knowing the bye week's coming up, then the district? It, it is. You know, I think we, we've got to attack this one because we need to get some momentum and, and a positive ball game under our belt and get a win. Um, and, and then, you know, we've got next week to correct some mistakes again and and, uh, and get healthy. And and that's the main thing. we got to use next week to get healthy because, um, you know, we've still got three or four guys that, that contribute quite a bit that are out. And, uh, and you know, nothing major, I don't think. But, uh but just the, they're just not going to be able to play this week. So we got to use that and, and try to get through this week and and, uh, and get in the win column. I know you want everybody to come out to Bradner Stadium. Obviously, if they can't, they can watch it here on yellowjackettv.com. Anything you want to say to the fans thus far who's who's been behind us throughout this season? Yeah, just just stay behind these guys. They're, they're working their tail off, and they have all summer. You know, um, we're, we're inexperienced. Um, but but we're getting we're getting game experience under under our belt now. And uh, you know, starting next week. Everybody's zero and zero in district, and, and we've got to find a way to come out and compete. Um, but I, I just ask you to keep supporting these young men, and, and they're working hard, and uh, and, and they're, they're taking it day by day. So you know, We talked about your coaching staff. A lot of your coaches and assistant coaches either coached with or played for Coach Roark. But what's your philosophy as far as a head coach? What what do you look at? Who do you take after maybe a little bit, uh, maybe here and there? I, I think it's a little bit of everybody that, that you've been around. You know, I was lucky enough to, be, uh, to play under Kenny. Uh, later to coach with Chuck Smith, and Chris Perdue, and Larry French, and some of those guys, John Hodge, and uh, and they've all been really successful in their own rights. And you take a little bit from each one, you know, and you try to mold it into your own, and uh, and, and you don't get away from what works. So. All right, buddy, I know you're busy. I'm going to get you back out of there. I'm not going to ask about Tennessee and Florida this week uh, unless you want to give a quick prediction. I think Tennessee beats them. Kentucky should have beat them. I think Tennessee beats them by 14. I agree with you. I agree. I like the Cats in Missouri. I like Kentucky's chances. Man, man, I tell you what, that thing looks good. I'm going to let you get back, to this, uh, get back at the guys. I appreciate right, it. Thank you. We're going to take a quick timeout. When we come back, we will continue the John's Tire Discount Preview Show. Stay tuned. Why you can trust John's Tire Discount? I always stop at John's Tire Discount uh, for good prices, good, excellent service. Been coming here for 20 years. I come here to John's Discount Tires because Larry Joe Jarvis is always taking good care of me. He does front end alignments, they do tires, whatever you need. You got really good prices, always are very quick uh, to get things done, and you don't have to wait very long at all. Come see us at John's Tire Discount. Customer service is number one. Now you see it, they're getting ready this Friday. You heard from Coach Madison Gill, you heard my little spill, and it all boils down to this Friday. You're gonna be able to watch it live here streaming on yellowjackettv.com. Also go to the Facebook page, Yellow Jacket TV, and that's gonna give you the link that you can watch it live. If you can't make it out to Bradner Stadium, you ain't gonna miss nothing. You're gonna to get to see it live. You're gonna go see the team. You're gonna see the whole thing. The players repping up and down the field and everything. You're gonna see it great. You're gonna see Clarence right there. I mean, it's gonna be a good time. We're gonna have a good time had by all. Very quickly, I want to say hello to a couple, uh, some friends of mine. I went on yellowjackettv.com earlier this afternoon just to kind of check a few things out. Noticed a gentleman who, class of in the 1950s, lives down in Florida, asking if we're still gonna be carrying. We're gonna be. We're gonna be there every single game. We ain't giving up on this crew. We don't want you to do that either. We're gonna be watching and carrying the Yellow Jackets from now until. Till doomsday. We'll let you know about that. Also, a good friend of mine, John Sinkowitz, up there in Lexington, Kentucky. He's watching every week as well. John, we appreciate that. Hey, don't forget, this Friday night, live. If you can't be there at Bradner Stadium, you can see it right here on uh, yellowjackettv.com. Also, go to the Facebook page for the link. Until this Friday, when the Jackets play host to the Harlan Green Dragons, this is Sam Turner saying, so long, everybody.